What's going on y'all? So today I got the F100 that I daily drive. There's been a couple of these videos on the channel. I just haven't made one recently and I just wanted to show y'all what's been going on. I've actually been working on this thing over the summer. I'm taking it back to college. So I needed to fix all the minor things that were going on with it. I've got it back about two years ago is when I started dailying this thing when the last video was posted. Since then, I've just been working on small things here and there. And then uh, I blew a head gasket, so it needed repaired. And then here, let me open this real quick. And that was back in, I think February, but got that repaired, so it's running well again. And then after that, I went ahead and had to replace, there's a steel plate under here that the battery acid had corroded through. We'll see if you can get a look from underneath. That I had to weld up and then uh, I welded it and then spray painted it. So that's fixed, got a new battery recently. And then while we were working on the engine, I actually cracked my windshield, which was the original glass. I don't know if we still have that. If we do, I'll show you. But um, we just replaced that and it took forever. It was just trying to fit this seal in for about two hours, which is awful. After that, gas tank had two holes in it. So we just replaced our gas tank. So when we did our restoration, we put a 38 gallon tank in, which was this tank. Um, and then it had two holes about two years ago, but they were pinholes, so they didn't leak too bad. It was just annoying the crap out of me, so I had to replace it. And there's the new tank with no pinholes in it. Let's see if I can show you these pinholes. I don't know if you can see right there. There's two pinholes in the bottom of that tank. So that's the most recent things. Uh, it's got... On the inside, it's a little dirty, but it's still looking good on the inside. Everything there, doing well. I don't know if I did an update on the inside or not, but the biggest thing was uh, this mat. We couldn't get to sit flat. See how it's got all the wrinkles and everything. But I'm okay with that. Um, starts right up, has no problem running. And I got the Bluetooth radio too. So that's pretty great. And then for the outside of this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do. When we redid it, we had someone who clear coated it because I liked the patina look, which it wasn't even patina, it was just an old faded red. But um, they ended up putting this rust preventative stopper on all these spots that weren't even rust spots. And uh, it ended up, when they clear coated it and made this purple drip, which is all over the truck. Um, See, it's really bad on the tailgate because there's a lot of rust spots, I guess. So when they clear coat it, it turns purple. And um, they said they'd give it to us for free, the paint job for free. But then about a year ago, it started peeling on the, on the rust preventative uh, where they put it down. So it didn't hold paint very well, which kind of stinks, but it's fine. I kind of like the look of it. It doesn't bother me too much. I do use it as a work truck, so it's not awful. Um, but I don't know, sometime I might fix all the body work and small dents and actually get it painted again. But, um, I think the purple kind of adds to the patina maybe a little bit, so it doesn't bother me too bad. A couple months ago, I was trying to refit the doors because they didn't sit perfectly even. And I messed up, uh, right here. So that would probably going to fix that sometime in the future. But again, it doesn't really bother me too much, so it's not urgent. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing else we've recently done to it that I would that sticks out to me. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. I know this wasn't a long video or very in-depth, but if you guys have any major questions about things on this truck, just put it in the comments below and hopefully I can make a video on it. Because I love this truck, I love working on this truck, and if you guys want to see stuff, I'll film it for you. So uh, thank you, and see you in the next one.